everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Game channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and if you wanted a go-kart in GT Online for absolutely zero dollars, today is your lucky day. Yes, between today, December the 18th and Monday, December the 20th, you can get the brand new Vito Classic go-kart right here for absolutely free. If you purchase it after the 20th, so after next Monday, you can see it'll be nearly 900 grand. So if you want to get this thing, go and pick it up right now. It costs zero dollars. I'm going to pick this thing up right now and we're going to go ahead and customize it. Okay, and here we are in the brand new Vito Classic Go-Kart. This thing is absolutely mini. I mean, look at it part next to this weenie issy here. It just it looks ridiculous, but it is really cool that we finally got a Go-Kart inside GT Online. And we're actually going to be getting two Go-Karts. So we have the Vito Classic, which is what I'm driving right here. And we also have the Vito Modern, which is kind of like a more modern go-kart. That is probably going to be releasing sometime next week, if I had to guess. Well, let's go and take this thing to the LSC, because there is some tuning parts for this thing. And let's see what we can do with it. Right, and so here we are at the LSC. At the moment, it's kind of a stock-looking go-kart. We can apply some armor to this thing, which is kind of a joke, because I don't know where you're going to get the armor from, but you can put armor on it, so I'm going to do that. We'll fit the race brakes on there. We'll... Oh, okay, so we have a few engine block options. So we have the engine tunes, and then we have the engine block itself. So you can paint that primary or secondary. Um... I guess we'll just paint that primary for now. It does look a little bit nicer painted. Um, the exhaust options, you can see it has that like side exit exhaust. We can go for a chrome version, titanium, aluminium. Then we've got the XL versions of all of those. Then we've got the angled exhaust. We've got those in the different options. And then we've got the mitered straight up in the air exhaust like that. I like the chrome vertical one. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, you can put explosives on, not going to do that. And we have some front shield, so this is going to be like a little bit of bodywork, so we can go for the no shield look. We got the short front shield, we got the secondary short front shield, we got streamlined front shield and nine secondary, and then we got the full front shield. I like the streamlined one, I think that looks really nice. I'm just going to go for that in primary shot. option. Heel grips is going to be like down there on the sort of chassis area. It's going to add some like rubber strips. You can just see down there. Um, so you can have that in chrome, plastic or secondary. I think we'll just leave that in plastic. That looks pretty nice. It does have a horn on it, which is kind of amusing. Um, livery options. There are a few livery options, although I don't see much of an area to put them on. Um, but we have the number six, we got number four, we got white eight, black eight, number 43, we got the shopping list, number seven, number 25, number two, number 86, we got hot shot, which is just going to be some flames, and then we've got corruption. Um, I'm not really sure which one I want to go with here. I do quite like this white eight. I think that looks pretty nice, so I'm going to go with that. Um, the pedals, um, we can change up the pedals. So we got the stock ones, we can get those in a primary colour or secondary. We got the chrome version of those as well, and dark chrome. Then we can go for the lightweight pedals, primary, secondary. Then we've got the GT pedals in primary or secondary, or chrome or dark chrome, and that is the lot. I think I'm going to go for these stock ones in a primary colour. Then the respray options, so the primary is going to change all of the primary options and the secondary is going to change anything that you set as secondary, but it doesn't appear to change anything else, so it only changes the stuff that you actually set as a secondary option. And then the trim colour, what is that going to change? Oh that changes the colour of the C, okay. Um, well, I think we'll go ahead and match that as white. 
kind of like the um, livery we've got there that looks really nice we have got a few steering wheel options so we got the stock wheel we got the formula cutout the formula clubman the formula professional and the apex clubman i like the formula cutout that looks nice we can go for some turbo tuning on this thing so we can actually fit a turbo on it that's nuts um wheel options there are no options to change the wheels you can only put bulletproof tires on which it already has or change the tire smoke and obviously there's no window options because there are no windows but we can go ahead and paint the primary um, let's change that to something a little bit more go karty yeah I'm thinking like a sunrise orange that looks really nice with the livery on there and that is the thing fully customized so let's take it outside and see how fast it is now all right, well, on the street, in the go-kart, this thing has very responsive handling. It's kind of like the F1 cars, so it has similar, like, handling as that. Um, but this thing, it does seem to spin out a lot. Whenever you hit the tiniest little bump, or you go up on a pavement, or you knock into another car on the street, it spins out really easily. So that's something to bear in mind. Also, when you go over jumps like that, it does spin out sometimes. Um, but it's just, it's weird how small this thing is, like you come next to a normal car like this and it's just tiny, it's hilarious. And the other thing that I found kind of cool is this thing only has one gear as well. So go-karts in real life, they usually only have one gear. I'm sure there are go-karts with gears, but most sort of normal go-karts only have one gear and the go-karts in GT Online have the same. They only have one gear, which is really cool. Um, it does sound a little bit weird, like you're revving the nuts off it, but yeah, it's a cool little addition to GT Online. Like I said at the start of the video, if you wanna get this thing for free, then make sure you go and pick it up before Monday the 20th, because after that it's gonna be about 900 grand. And also, I'll be on the lookout for the Vito Modern, which will probably be releasing sometime next week. I'm not sure if that's going to be free as well, but if it is, I'll be sure to make a video like this, and we'll go and customise it as well. But that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know if you're going to be picking up the Vito Classic. It is absolutely free, so you might as well. And I will see you all in the next video.